Yo, and welcome to Cheap Beer Reviews. I'm actually, I found another shirt today, cleaning up my stuff, and we have this Northern Star 3. That was the beer I talked about last time. She is, uh, it's brewed by Northern Monks, and it is Northern Monks Celebration Edition, trademark, whatever have you, and in my part of the world, you will get money back if you recycle it. But what does it say on the back? That's the interesting bit. As, as I said, this is, this, is, this is a strong one. This is a really strong one. It's 9%. So I'll probably just have this one and then be in a good mood. Well, what is it? Northern Star. Black Forest Imperial Stout. A collaboration with Lövik. You've got to have faith, but you've got to have Imperial Stout. Canned in the north with Simon Wynn. So Simon has been in this. I'm, I'm happy to know Simon has been helping out as well. Um, I lifted eight of Scotland's historic manhood stones. That's good for you, buddy. That's good. I, I, I appreciate you did that. But um, some Northern beers as a... Hey up, we Northern monks. A few years ago, we said, I did, that's not even Northern, is it? We set up to brew some of the best beer in the world from a damp cellar in the north. He probably invaded his mum's cellar, I don't know. Uh, what does it say? I'll, I'll stop the accent, that was terrible. Um, we didn't have much, but we, with the support, sorry, the I'm still using the uh, Magintosh foam and it, it has this like light that's really burning my eyes out. Um, so uh, with the support of friends, family and a 5,000 gift from a grandparent, we came a long way. A lasting community to create the best beer experience we can whilst working with the community around us what is that that that, that light sorry i'm gonna put this in front of the lights so i can actually see and read i can't see and read now no that has blinded me forever continue to drive us forward so they they, they have they have spirit at least they have spirit and they're from up north but yeah, it's it's the can's nice. The can's fairly nice, as you can see. It, it, they they they've done their thing to make it nice. I think this is actually the same black can as one of the other beers I had. Was that that? What was that called? Jungle, flush, hush, bush thing. I had that I wasn't that big a fan of. I think it was a London brew beer. I can't remember. But let's see. I yeah, that that's that is like they call it a stout. This is. This is not just a stout. This is crude oil. This is, this is, and, and that really it seems like it's not that carbonated as well, which I like. She does pour very nicely. She does. She really does. Wow. That is like smelling the innards of the earth. Got a bit of my nose there. That is a that is a good smelling stout, I must say. But then again, you can see there's 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 absolutely. I'm holding it up against the the one million thousand lux Magnetron's phone torchlight now, and I can't even see through it. This is this is basically well with the percentage as well nine percent. This is a blackout beer in more than one sense, I think. But let's try it. Wow, that has a lot of taste to it. They, I, I can't even, I can't even start to explain what the taste is like. It's like a really strong stout taste with a hint of of, of coffee, and there's a little bit sweetness in there as well. And it's um, 
it's it's not even not just heavy in the the viscosity of it but also in the taste and and the alcohol and the alcohol this is this is brilliant man so basically what they put in it water barley sweet cherry all right that's the sweet stuff milk not lactose cocoa powder yeah yeast vanilla um that yeah it, it's this is definitely worth it this is this is this is not just a, a stout this is like a, a turbocharged nitro injected over compressed stout on 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 crack it's um it's absolutely beautiful it it's it's it hits you well not not alcohol wise i don't know that yet but it will hit me in a couple of minutes i'm not half an hour so sure but but the taste of it is so intense this is this is to be honest this is one of the best stouts i had for a very long time mm. I don't understand because I still, I still taste a little bit of coffee in it. After reading it, yes, I can't, I can pick up the, uh, the cocoa powder and the vanilla, but it's just very faint. That it's still, the main thing of this, is still, still the, the stout. The stout is so strong and so nice. It's so smooth. Uh, says they're decanted cherry and chocolate, yeah. It has a little thing here where it says the UK's 100 best small companies. So they, they must have done a good effort at some point. Man, I'm, 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 as I said, this is this is not a, a cheap, cheap beer review. This is this is a Morrison's beer because there's Morrison close to me and I did, um, I did give them three of the round pieces of metal with the queen's head on for it, but it's definitely worth it. It's a heavy stout. I wouldn't say that everybody would like it because it it definitely, definitely tickles your, your senses. It could be that I stopped smoking a month, month and a half ago, so my taste and all of that is coming back. But this is, um, it's like, you you would you would drink this not just for the alcohol in it. But this could have been a four percent stout. I know that's not really a thing, but this could have been a very weak stout as well. If it had this taste, I would I would still really enjoy it. This is brilliant. Mm. Good thing I got this shirt on tonight today tonight because if I if I end up throwing up after having another one of these it, it you couldn't really tell could you don't even know where I got this shirt from but it's uh, it's nice and soft on the skin and that's what, what you need but yeah let, let's get to the to the actual what 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 you would give this and for a stout I like stout I'm I drink stouts Sometimes it's not something I would drink every single day. I would rather have a spice beer or IPA or an ale or something. But but this one I would, I would definitely something like this. I would enjoy often, 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 often. So it's nine percent, but because it is called. North Star, and I am from them kind of areas in Scandinavia, that would push it up to a 10. Um, but because it's three quid, and I don't yet have figured out how to actually have music blaring in the background from one of my Motorhead albums, one of my other albums because I don't know the Motorhead has now become a part of this beer review so bad that it's all related to Motorhead when I when I when I give them their their score but I would say this is a solid 9.5 it's it's brilliant bit pricey but my god it's 
It's not cheap beer review. It is just beautiful beer review. I love this thing. I will go to Morrison and I will get more. Or I'll go on Amazon and I'll order a shit ton of the little bastards. But anyway. If you ever get the chance, go online, go to the shop, go wherever you go, get a Northern Star 3. I will try and find the 2 and the 1 and the 4, or however many they made of them. But this one is, I am, I am, this is good. This is really good. Buy it, try it, that's the only thing I can say. So, that'll be all for now. Hope you have a good one, and I will make as many beer reviews as I can, as fast as I can, to upload them as much as I can. That's it. Have a nice one. Ta-ta!